Okay, we have set our timing to 36 degrees total timing, bringing the RPM up to about 2800 RPM. We have timed it, total timing. The number one cylinder, the rotor, used to point at that mark down there. And the rotor, this is the number one cylinder, used to point over here. As you can see, it's almost to the number eight. It's a little bit past halfway. I've also marked down here, this mark right here, lined up to here, is where the number one cylinder, when everything lined up, the reluctor, the pickup, everything. And from this line to this line, when you turn the rotor and you keep turning it, this is the point at which I would have came to the next the next reluctor or the next cylinder. So from here to here. So I advanced it from this point all the way to this point in order to get 36 degrees total timing. So that shows you how much I moved from where the cap was pointing directly at the number one cylinder to get its fire to where it is now. That shows you how much the phase has changed or the geometry from the cap to the rotor. So this is why you phase, they call it phasing the rotor or the distributor um, to line up the geometry. Now, when I did have these lined up, these two lines, which should be zero degrees, and I checked it with my timing light, I do believe that I was actually slightly retarded. I do believe that the um, pickup actually picks up the magnetic field slightly before it reaches the center point, and so it's actually slightly retarded um, at zero. And so, like I said, I'm at 16 now. Uh, well, actually, I'm not. Even, I think I checked it, and it was around 16 degrees total uh, or idle idle timing, and it was 36 degrees total timing. Um, but anyway, this is why what I was saying is the rotor is always going to point at this position here at the light. Um, so when you get your timing comes on, it's going to it should be sparking around here. If it comes in a little earlier, um, then it would it'd be around here. You would let's say. But your phasing is way over here now. So what you want to do is, uh, you know, you can use my method. I don't know if it's really going to work or not. I haven't tried it. It's just kind of common sense. It told me that, you know, the number one's over here now. It's not over here. So I would adjust it to point over here. Um, but I believe the best method is the way they say to drill a hole in it and look at it with a timing light and see where it's really pointing at. Um, but you can see that you would turn your rotor slightly in this direction to get it closer to the cap. Um, over here but anyway um, that was just what I wanted to show you guys um, you know where my marks are um, and how things lined up and why we phase the rotor um, the distributor you know all those good things um, so anyway also wanted to mention one of the reasons why I got so involved in working on this and going through this video was when I would turn the engine over initially when I put this new distributor in I was getting kickback and I actually broke the starter right off the uh, the, ca the, the, the case of the engine the starter itself broke and I went through three different starters um, and I kept getting kickback and couldn't figure out why I was getting kickback and some people were su suggesting checking the phase on the distributor what I ended up finding that was actually the what I believe was the cause of the problem was the air gap on the pickup um, GM like I mentioned in the earlier video um, the the MSD actually was saying that it should be a, around 30 some people I've read articles that say GM that MSD sets it at 30 to 35 I've read other places that say you know 15 it's just all over the place so I believe that uh, 18 seemed to work for me and I'm not getting kickback anymore and this thing fires right up so I'm pretty happy about it so give it a little gas and uh, fire her up Anyway, that's it.